Hello guys, my name is Sergey. I'm a freediving instructor trainer and today I want to talk about the book One Breath by Adam Skolnik. Actually, I recently read it the second time. As you can say, if you read something for the second time, I pretty like this book. So this book is uh, based on a real accident, on a real tragic story. It happens with an extremely talented freediver from US, uh, Nick Mavoli, who died on a freediving competition in 2015 organized by William Trubridge uh, in Bahamas. This is a highly prestigious competition and only the best from the best competing there. Again, this book is not only about this accident itself because otherwise it's going to be really thin. So it's uh, about the Nick's story, his life story, what he was doing when he was young, like about his childhood, what leads him to become a free diver in the first place and how he actually become an elite free diver in a really really short amount of time because uh, i think from the complete beginner up to elite level he reached it like in a couple of years but when you do something really fast you will pay the price and it is always true i think in any sport if you are progressing really fast then the chance of the injury is also really fast and in this book you will find a lot of uh, a lot of situations which uh, Nix has, which Nix had in his uh, career, in his freediving career, which sooner or later you you will you will understand that sooner or later is going to be a big accident when you're reading this book. And unfortunately, it happened in 2015. Back to those time, lung squeezes was not the biggest issue in the freediving world. It was taken quite lightly. Free divers were still diving after them and Nick was doing the same so you couldn't say that he his approach was crazy or unresponsible because most of the free divers was doing the same. And then at one competition the, the tragic accident happened. So in this book you will find not only his life story and tragic accident itself but you also can find the like inside information about competitive mindset of the free of the best free divers in the world, such as Alexey Molchanov or William Trubridge. So, who can find this book interesting? In my opinion, even if you are not a free diver, this book is great. Adam Skolnik did a great job explaining such a complicated, such a complicated activity as a. Uh, competitive freediving in a really simple way. The truth is actually the guy who, who gave me this book as a gift, uh, he was not a freediver when he was reading this book, but because of the reading his, this book he decided to improve his uh, vision in freediving, improve his safety in freediving and this is why he decided to do a freediving course with me and um, after finishing the course he presented me this book uh, which I really gratefully take. If you are a free diver already, or especially if you're a free diving instructor, then I think it is a book which you must read because it teaches us a lot about safety in general and lance quizzes in particular. So, like I said, uh, this book is a combination of the life story of the Nick, his uh, his approach to free diving, the tragic accident itself, and the competitive world of free diving. So I think everyone can find something interesting for them. So if you're going to be one day in our school, in a Crystal Free Diving Konkatawa, then I would be more than happy to borrow this book to you to read. If not, then maybe you can ask around, maybe you can ask your free diving friends, maybe someone have it already and they can give it to you to read, or you can buy it on Amazon. The link is going to be in the description of this video. So guys, this was my short rev review about this book, One Breath by Adam Skolnik. Again, like I said, in my opinion, it's a really great book to have, especially because there is not that many freediving related books available at this moment. And again, the fact that it is based on a real story makes the book is truly unique. So in my opinion, the author, Adam Skolnik, did a really great job to describing this story.